How's it going everybody? It's me, Odlum Scrafty, and today we're gonna go ahead and show you how to play Pokemon Glowing Garnet on Citra. Uh, Citra is the 3DS emulator and I'm, I'm, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do that in just a few seconds. Um, firstly, I want to apologize for the episode one of this game. On the episode one, I stated that Citra ran badly. That's because I didn't know that it had updated to the point to where it runs well now. You see this? There's no lag here. The reason I'm playing on 3DS right now is because I thought Citra still ran badly. Um, because if you remember my Pokemon Stars playthrough, um, I played that entire game on Citra and it, it wasn't the best in terms of performance. Now, from what I can see, there's very few lag issues. There's like a, a tiny lag spike here and there, you know, when it's just initially loading something up. But for the most part, it runs perfectly, and I just want to apologize to people that work on Citra, and I just want to apologize for misinforming you guys that I said it ran badly, because I thought it did. It was just, it was just honestly my ignorance, and I am very sorry. Hopefully, you can forgive me. Um, but yeah, since I started that playthrough, so many of you guys have been asking me how to play this game, uh, because, you know, shiny hunting with a uh, 1 in 100 odds sounds like fun, right? It is fun. Uh, so today I'm going to go ahead and walk you through uh, basically what I just set up. Uh, now I'm not an, a Citra expert. Uh, this is literally my first time ever using this version of Citra. Uh, I'm not not super, uh, I don't know every you know little thing. I've, if you have an issue, I don't know how to fix it because I haven't had any issues that I've had to fix. So if you have issues with this, I do apologize, but I'm just going to walk you through what I did. Uh, if you want to play this game on 3DS, I'm going to just say, uh, if you don't already know how to, then don't. Uh, you have to get custom firmware that can take hours and you might not even be able to you need to have a certain version of 3ds i don't even know how to get custom firmware in 3ds anymore i did it years ago it might be a, i think it's a lot harder now so let's just say if you want to play this game just throw the idea of doing it on the 3ds out the window do it on citra um even if your pc runs bad you can get citra to work quite well uh, from my understanding so yeah first things first you're going to want to download citra um, fairly, fairly simple. Uh, and when you download it, you will get this, uh, Citra setup thing. It will look like, uh, this window right here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you literally just click next. You just do a general install, install it to the local folder. folder. Since I've already installed it, it won't let me. But what I can do is, is go to the uninstall screen and it will basically, we'll just go to add or remove, um, components. And basically... Um, it comes to, the only important part from my understanding is this part here and asks you which version of Citra do you want. Personally, I would install both. Um, but from the Discord server for Pokemon Glowing Garnet, I've heard that, um, Citra Can Canary, I think it's pronounced, uh, works better for Glowing Garnet. I don't exactly know the differences very well, but I would say personally, just install them both. Click next. It's a, re it's an easy installation setup. You shouldn't have any issues with that. Once Citra is installed, you want to go ahead and scoot yourself over to the PGG Discord. Uh, I will have a link to that in the description for you. And right here in the PGG Downloads tab, it will have all the downloads. And this constantly gets updated. Uh, so when I started this series, I think it was on version 3.5. It is on now on version 5.0. So it updates regularly. So keep checking back here every so often. Um, link to the Discord, like I said, in the description. And uh, you get four options. You get the PC. Uh, emulator version you get the PC emulator version with one in a hundred shiny odds if you want easy shiny Pokemon This is the version you want so rather than just straight up linking you the the ROM in the, the description I'm gonna link you the discord to where you can go download it there. Uh, so go there download it Easy as pie just click on it and it will open up download and then download it anyways and uh, Ignore the worst Pokemon ROM hacks folder. <laughs> that's um, that's why I initially had it called <laughs> Um, but since then, I've, uh, you know, I don't just cover bad ROM hacks. Glowing Garnet isn't a bad ROM hack, okay? Anyways, just save it wherever. It'll take a while to download. It's quite a big file. After that, you will have, um, have the option to add a game directory. Uh, this is literally just where your games are sto stored, if that makes sense. Um, you just add a new game directory and you just go to wherever you saved your, uh, your, your, um, the file you downloaded right there which I saved mine in Glowing Garnet. So then I just select this folder and this is it here. And then you literally double tap on it. You open it up and uh, it will play. 
Uh, I've already got a save file on mine, so, you know, mine boots up. But yeah, uh, it works well, it looks amazing, and I just want to say sorry again for saying what I said. I take it back. Psych. <laughs> um, I want to also go over some of the settings in here. I don't, like I said, I'm not an Acetra expert, but um, audio, I personally make that 50 because the emulator is quite loud. Uh, if, honestly, even though enable audio stretching, I think that just means rather than the audio cutting out when it lags, it just kind of does like a, you know, a <laughs> stretch. If you, if you turn that off, I'm pretty sure it would just cut whenever there's an audio lag. Um, so stretching probably sounds better. Uh, I might make this 75% because I think 50 is a little too low. Um, graphic wise, um, this is how you do the speed up basically. If you want your emulator to go super fast, you just turn off limit speed. And yeah. From Citra lagging and hardly running at 100% to it now being able to run this fast, it's kind of crazy, you know? Came a long way. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Um, so that's how you can do speed up. And then let me see. I'm gonna turn this back on because the audio is really annoying me. Just just it getting set up there had like a bit, a bit of lag, but for the most part, it, there's no lag on this. Uh, for this, I just left it normal. I think when you first get it, it has it at the highest native, but I don't think you really need it to be that high. Eh, there's maybe a slight difference. Nah, I can't see any difference. And I think, I imagine just, I mean, I could be wrong about this, but I imagine playing on a smaller uh, resolution will make it so your game doesn't lag as much. So if your computer is really bad and it's lagging, you can go ahead and turn down the resolution. It does it does make it look worse. You know, it does make it just look like a stretched up 3DS uh, rather than, you know, Citra quality. But it still looks good. Uh, you know, it's, it, it, running is uh, what you want. So if we make it auto, that just works off the window size, which looks fine as well. You can play about with these settings. I turned on the um, accurate multiplication and uh, it froze my entire emulator. So maybe don't turn that on. Uh, you can change the uh, the size of the screen here. You can make it so it's uh, a default sort of 3ds uh, setup. Uh, you can make it so it's uh, side by side. That's how I play my DS games. Uh, or you can uh, you can make it the the, uh, the 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 most smart way: large screen, small bottom screen. Yeah, if you press F10, it just switches between all the emulators uh, screen sizes. So that's. That's kind of neat and it might be helpful during recording. Uh, you can press F11 to make it go full screen, which will probably be, again be handy for recording. If you want to take a screenshot, there's a capture screenshot tool built into the emulator, which is kind of cool. If you're having issues with language, I've seen, I think some people have issues when they first boot up the emulator, it's in Japanese. Uh, you can go to the UI and choose it to be English. Uh, and then, you know, you can change your theme. You know, a whole bunch of different things to customize here, which is always super neat. Um, I also wanted to make sure that you guys know it's apparently Citra Canary. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I think Canary, Canary, whatever one. I think that one is the one that runs better for this game. So I would say use this one. Also, I wanted to add, um, if you guys want to... So basically, uh, if you want to use PK Hex on your game, um, the what you can, or if you want to back up your save file and start a new game, um, the, the easiest way is once you're on the game directory, just open save data location, and it will bring you to this folder. It is very scary, but you just wanna go ahead and copy that and just paste it anywhere. Honestly, you can paste it anywhere that's, uh, I guess, um, anywhere safe. Um, personally, what I'm gonna do is, this save file here, this one main in Glowing Garnet, that is my save file from uh, my actual Glowing Garnet playthrough. So, cause I back it up every episode. So, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in here. And now, whenever I load this game up, it will have my new save file, or my, my save file from my playthrough. I don't think it's fully up to date, but, yep, here we are in Jagged Pass. So it's from what, from the start of the last episode, but yeah, this is, um, wow, okay, this looks awesome. Uh, if you press control tab, you can actually swap screens. That's gonna be super helpful if I'm doing a, if I'm doing the playthrough and I wanna show you guys my Pokemon. So yeah, that does give me the question now. Um, would you guys like me to continue my Glowing Garnet playthrough on Citra or do you prefer it on the 3DS? Either way, I don't really mind, but playing it on Citra would probably look better. Well, it, well, it does look better and it makes my life easier. Um, but yeah, do you see that slight lag? That's like the issue I have with Citra is the, the slight the slight lag there is sometimes. 
but it's it's so slight that it's like it's really not that big of a deal especially when you can like speed up and stuff to make up for the lag spikes like that and see it's not even doing it anymore it was just for that one encounter so I don't know. Um, I'm curious what you guys think. Do you guys want Citra or do you prefer me playing on the actual 3DS? Regardless, I can do either or. Uh, I just want to know what you guys think. I hope I was helpful to you guys. Uh, hopefully um, this was informative and hopefully you, 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 you got Citra set up properly to where you can play now. Uh, I really hope you did. If you didn't, leave you any questions you have in the comments. Maybe somebody else will be able to help you. Maybe I'll be able to help you. Uh, it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt to ask. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to continue on Citra now or if you want me to continue on the 3DS. Either way, uh, I'm excited to continue this playthrough hopefully tomorrow if I'm feeling uh, more up to it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you all. And uh, we will catch you in the next episode.